Hello everyone. I am Advocate Lakshya Kumar Singh, a verified educator on an Academy Plus platform in CLAT category. And today we have Krishanu Paul with us, a rank holder in CLAT 2020. He got rank 16 in CLAT 2020. And today Krishanu will tell and share his some tips and strategies with us that how he cracked CLAT 2020. So welcome Krishanu, welcome on an Academy. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm also doing good. So what's going on, Kishanu? Everything is fine? Yeah, <laughs> things are stressful. We have our NCMs coming up, but... Okay. Sounds great. Right. So Kishanu, tell us uh, something about yourself, first of all. Like... So um, I'm Kishanu Paul. Uh, I'm from Guwahati, Assam. I started preparing for CLAT from 2018 when I was in my 11th. 2018, and, um, okay. from 11th standard, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Then, okay. Then, and I at gave attempted CLAT in 2020, and uh, I secured rank 16, and I have joined NLS Bangalore, um, okay. and I'll be completing my first trimester by the end of this month. So you are a student of NLU Bangalore, yep. top law university in the country. <laughs> Congratulations, Krishanu. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, something about your preparation. When did you start? Actually, in that you feel that law is your field, law is your stuff. When did you start your law entrance preparation? And also, what is the ideal time period for preparing this type of exam like CLET? So, sir, uh, I actually feel very firmly that you should start preparing. If you think that you want to crack one of the top three colleges for uh, one of the top three NLUs, okay. uh, most students should start preparing from, to, uh, from their class 11. You need a two-year preparation. The first year can be a little informal. You can do it at home. But from the second year onwards, you need a very focused and dedicated preparation. So I'd say at least one year and preferably two years for to crack a good NLU, one of the top three NLUs. Okay. Preferably two years or at least one year should be there, right? For preparing. Yeah, and, the, and if you're doing it one year, that one year needs to be, you know, very more, more focused and like, yeah, very focused and streamlined. Okay, okay. And Kishanu, how do you manage your law entrance and your board exams together? What was your strategy? Like, what kept you motivating? So something. Yeah, so um, I had a group of friends. Um, uh, our, uh, You know, we came together. We were all CLAT aspirants. And okay. we kept motivating each other. And, you know, this okay. really helped. You know, if you have a group, a group of dedicated friends who, okay. you know, who are all focused towards the same thing. And all of them, a lot of them got into the top NLUs as well. So... A lot of the people in my college I know for the past six to seven months. Okay, circle so, matters, right? Yeah, so yeah. the circle really matters when okay. you want to motivate yourself. Okay. And um, besides that, how I manage my boards and my CLAT exams, to be honest, I preferred, I focused on CLAT more than boards because I knew that this is what I wanted to do with my life. And uh, okay, okay. boards, when I'm in, attempting CLAT, boards don't matter more than, you know, boards are simply bragging rights in a sense. Okay, okay, okay. They're not going to get you in a college here. Yeah. Uh, and I did do well in my boards, but in the end of the day, that's not going to matter, right? Okay. <laughs> Nobody's but, going to give you a job based on your boards, Marks. But for time being, ultimately, CLAT was your goal, right? You want to achieve yeah, ultimate, something. Even during right? the yeah, even during the break between January and March, between the break for the board exams, okay. I kept preparing for CLAT until like 15 days before the actual exams. So, okay. Okay. What about you rank 16? A... What was your reaction when you came to know that it's rank 16 for you? So, what so, was your reaction? <laughs> rank 16 is not something you can actually expect. It's a really good result. I, I knew I had uh, done well in the exam. It's and, outstanding, uh, brother. It's outstanding. <laughs> rank 16. But I didn't really expect rank 16. So I'm oh. glad I got that. And it was really a surprise. I put in the effort okay. and, you know, the result is something which isn't really up to us. And it did work out in my yeah. favor, I suppose. Okay. okay. And what was your reaction to the new pattern of CLAT? Suddenly pattern yeah. of CLAT changed. And what was your reaction? So, uh, is there any is there has, is there any second thought that uh, what uh, you are doing and how will you crack this exam now? Um, to be honest, I didn't have any second thoughts because I knew that you know it's it's point worrying about this is pointless. Once Fazan sir has announced it, Correct. you're going to have to we're going to have to deal with it. So okay. you know there's no point complaining. There's no point you know okay. uh, being sad about it. I immediately shifted to the new pattern and I started working from ground up. 
Okay. And you know, that's what you have to do. There's no point. Uh, you need to realign your mindset in response to the changes which can keep coming. You know, whenever it gets postponed or whenever new pattern changes or okay. something like that. Okay. You know, okay. another thing that in our exams we were supposed to have calculators. We prepared with for with calculators, but right. we found out that the actual exam wouldn't have them and. You know, a lot of people spend time grumbling about it and uh, you know worrying about it, but you know you need to think that it is what it is. You need to work with what you have. So okay. that's simply something you have to take as a given and work with it. Okay, very valuable. So I'd advise yeah. that. Yeah, I'd advise that you simply work with it. Okay, what was the special strategy or yeah any other normal strategy you followed for your crack twenty twenty? You want so, to share uh, with us? Yeah. Okay. So regardless of which stream you come from, GK okay. is something you need to spend most of your time on. It is the toughest section in the paper by far, okay. and G and scoring in good in G well in GK is very important for getting into a top NLU. Okay, okay. Another thing is that I'm a humanities student, so you know while I was pretty good at maths, it 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 was something I needed to practice especially hard on. Okay. So uh, math and GK is something I try to do every day. Logical reasoning and legal reasoning is. Okay. these are the two subjects which are easier to score in so once i became adept at it i i let it slide and give more time to these two uh, to the math and gk sections okay. so you know you need to play on your strengths and uh, remember to give the paper in a planned manner don't okay. attempt questions which simply uh, which simply seem easy first okay. structure plan try it out in mock tests before you actually attempt it in the exam and don't panic during the exam Okay, planning is the key. Yeah, planning right. is the key. Planning is the key. So, according yeah. to you, GK can be a deciding factor, right? GK is the deciding factor. Sir. GK, GK is the day. Okay. More GK often than not. And what about current affairs? Day to day news. So current affairs. Yeah, in the recent CLAT papers, we've seen that current affairs tends to play a more um, dominant role when it comes to GK questions. You don't get static GK as much anymore. Not nearly as much as there used to be earlier. So I'd advise preparing current affairs a lot harder. Current affairs a lot harder than, uh, you know, uh, static GK at this point of time. Okay. So how do you cover the current affairs like newspaper, magazines, or any printed material? So, what was your stuff? Actually, I'd advise against using newspapers. Newspapers are very broad and they're very general. They're okay. not going to help you, and you're going to waste too much time on them. So you know, okay. I think that using a dedicated material for CLAT GK material for the purpose of CLAT. Is going to serve you the best purpose. Okay, okay. So, Krishanu, what do you think was the biggest obstacle in plant preparation for you? Um, the fact that um, uh, we needed the, the um, there were constant postponements, and we needed to realign our mindset each and every time for almost okay. eight months, and that is not something which is really easy. Okay. So, you know, you needed to have a great deal of consistency and you needed a lot more dedication this year than you would in other years. But, you know, those who managed to keep the dedication and those who were consistent eventually, you know, reap the rewards because in normal years, it is very difficult for people who give boards and people who attempt CLAT in the same year to get a good college. But this year, because of the huge gap we got, those who managed to keep the consistency, they really mm -hmm. reap the rewards. Okay, that's good. Okay, Krishanu, can you share your strategy in detail that uh, what make you achieve this target? Like, uh, according to subject wise, like legal reasoning is there, logical reasoning is there, legal aptitude, GK, current affairs, English. So, something in detail, right? Yeah. So, um, English and legal affairs, I was good at since, uh, you know, since the very first mock I gave. So, I wasn't really concerned about these two sections. Logical reasoning initially posed a problem to me. So, you know, I take to used to solve these material papers and I used to solve these subtopics, you know, be it, um, you know, whatever the particular subheading I was having problem with within, with, within logical reasoning. I used to solve them. I used to solve 50, 100, 200 questions on them. And eventually I became adept at it. Okay. Another thing I'd advise is in general that attempt a mock every three or four days. I did, I used to do this till the week before the exam because okay. not only is it a way to assess yourself it is also a constant practice which is similar to the exam environment okay. so constantly attempting mocks you know and uh, 
you know while att after attempting mocks it's also important to check it properly so what i used to do is that i used uh, when i used to check the paper i used to attempt every question again but this time without the time limit and see which ones i got wrong which ones i got right this time around why did i make the mistake earlier and see if time constraint was a factor in it okay and if time was a factor all i needed was more practice so okay you need to charter your course and you need to understand how to give the exam more than what you study Okay. Of course, study is also important. You know, if you're weak in any section, you need to go through the material. You need to solve questions, fifty, hundred questions. You need to identify the subtopics you're weak at. You know, if you if within mathematics you're weak at something like uh, time and work, or if you're weak uh, weak at speed, distance, and things like that, you need to particularly focus on sections like these okay. until you become adept at it. You know, you need to break down things you're. good at you need to break down things you're bad at and see why you're good at these things and why you're bad at these things and okay. focus on things you're bad at more than those you're good at already okay uh, what about on academy the india's largest yes. learning platform <laughs> yeah i found out about an academy towards the end of the time uh, end of my preparation and after going through it i really felt that if i had it earlier i would have really benefited from Okay. Uh, an academy because it's such a vast platform with such a you know it's with such a wide variety of uh, material which i can learn from okay. that you know if i had access to it earlier and if i knew about it it would have helped me a lot so those who do have the privilege and opportunity to you know get to use it before the actual preparation i feel that it will help them a lot okay thank so, you Thank Thanks you, to you guys for for putting out <laughs> such amazing material out oh, there. Oh, you're welcome anytime. Okay, Kishanu, now tell us about your college, National Law University, Bangalore, a big name, a big shot, right? So <laughs> yeah, uh, how does so, it change your life after CLET twenty twenty? You are there, right? So, so yeah. Okay, something about the your college, is, right? Yeah, the experience is really stressful, but. I did get to meet some really good people there, and uh, their education yeah. is, of course, you know, it's yeah. something in it. Yeah. It exceeds my expectations, rather. You know, okay. all our professors are very amazing, and okay. I really love the experience. And it makes the effort you put in for class seem worthwhile. You know, okay, okay, okay. our professors are truly. Their okay. education is truly up to the mark. Something you cannot expect, especially yeah. coming from a place like, uh, you know, a part of the country which hasn't seen colleges like these. it's really okay. something to witness okay so guys kishanu is from guwahati right yeah i'm from guwahati yeah. assam yeah. okay okay so kishanu what is future planning academics judiciary litigation corporate lawyer so so as as of now i'm in my first trimester uh, so i'm currently inclined towards litigation or corporate law more corporate law than litigation but yeah. you know <laughs> if you're only beginning out and <laughs> yeah you know as things go on maybe yeah. we are all change so okay. right now it's corp law or litigation okay uh, why specifically corporate lawyer or corporate law or litigation why not judiciary and academics so so the thing about judiciary and academics is you know it's never really appeal to me corporate law and litigation not only are they lucrative but okay. um, they are also something especially litigation it's something where you yeah. get to apply yourself a lot more okay. more than any other field in fact okay, so okay okay I think that really applies to me. That really appeals to me, rather. Okay. So, Krishanu, in last any mantra for the learners preparing for CLET twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two. So, any mantra? Yes, sir. Specific so, one? okay. So, uh, those who start preparing for twenty twenty one, I'll say that you know you need to really push in. Uh, you know, you really need to kick in the gears now, because yeah. the time is running out, and you'll be competing with droppers as well. So, you got. you know you have been dealt a rough hand by the year but you cannot use this as an excuse to let nls go and you need to cannot use this as an excuse to let the top nlus go so you know you need to streamline your preparation now you need to understand where your priorities lie that if you are going to give clat you need to you need you need to place it at a higher pedestal than you do the board examinations so you need to place your priorities and you need to dedicate yourself to this purpose because in the end it's going to be worth it when you crack a top nlu okay so krishanu thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for sharing such a wonderful uh, views and techniques and tips thanks a lot krishanu thank you thanks.